What's up guys? How's it going? Welcome to the Let's Play of the Dawn Guard DLC. This was like, we did a vote out of like several of the different guilds or other things that we could have done. And literally, this won by a good like 400 votes I think. So we're doing the Dawn Guard DLC. I'm so excited for it because I haven't done it in ages. So it's going to be good fun. And I've asked you guys in the chat, it's going so fast, I literally can't even make out any words right now. But I asked you guys in the chat if you wanted me to side with the Dawn Guard or the Vampires. And it does seem like loads of people are just shouting out Dawn Guard right now. So it looks like that's the way it's going, but it could change. Because we've got probably a good like 40 minutes or half an hour to play into the Dawn Guard DLC before we have to make a decision. And even then, like, you know, things might change. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Let me get Skyrim up, get it sorted, and then we can start playing. We've just done the Thieves Guild DLC, so I've got that sweet, sweet Nightingale armor. And it is pissing it down with rain. And I've just started here, because basically, guys, we already got the quest to start the Dawnguard DLC. Speak with the leader of the Dawn Guard, who is over here. Um, there's like a little cave you go through and you can speak with the leader in Fort Dawn Guard. But I've just deliberately started here because on the way over I saw these two bandits. Why well, has one of them spotted me? I don't know. But I really want to try and shoot one before we start. Oh my god, that actually hit him. I don't believe it. He's run over there to go and see if his mate's okay. He's like, bro, what happened? Oh, get wrecked. I actually need his arrows, so I'm going to go over there right now and grab them. Oh, now loads of people are saying vampire. It seems to be pretty split, guys. What do we do? The thing is, it's, it's a difficult decision. Now, like, if you're wondering yourself what you want to pick, if we pick the Dawn Guide, sorry, Dawn Guard, I get to show you a lot more cool stuff. Because the Vampire faction don't actually have as much access to cool weaponry, like as many unique weapons as you get with the Dawn Guard faction. So you can see the cave just down here. That's where we're heading. That's the way to Fort Dawnguard. I don't think I'm going to be allowed to take my horse inside here. So we're probably just going to have to like jog the rest of the way. Yeah, I can show you a lot more unique weapons with the fort. With uh, if we side with the Dawnguard. So here we are, just on the map. Riften's just over here. If you're wondering where you need to go, Dayspring Canyon. It's literally a canyon with a castle just hidden inside it. So here we go, man. Let's let's meet the Dawn Guard. We're basically a recruit now, so we start off at the bottom. Man, the chat is wild. I think it's I think it's like an even split. The only way I can find out is pressing Control F and searching Vampire to Dawn Guard and see who said what most. Where's this guy running? Let's catch up with him. Have a chat. Oh, to hey him. there. You here to join the Dawn Guard too? Indeed I am. I'm a little nervous. I've never done anything like this before. I hope you don't mind if I walk up with you. Well, you're hey, running away from me. Isron, I was afraid to meet him by myself. I don't want any competition to join the Dawn Guard. You're not allowed. Come on, we will we'll have a fight to the death to see who who is ready to join the Dawn Guard. Your iron axe is pitiful, sir. There we go. I think I will be joining the Dawn Guard, son. You will not be joining anyone. We should probably hide this body. <laughs> Look at this guy. He wouldn't have stood a chance against any vampires. You silly peasant. Right, so we've just got to run up. Oh, a deer. Let's take out this deer as well. Oh, Jesus. He's noticed me. He knows. Oh my god! I couldn't even see where I was aiming, but we still got that. People are just saying savage in the chat. I am a savage. So here we go, Fort Dawnguard. Now a lot of people wonder, like, 
I mean, I was wondering, why does this place even exist? But apparently, the Jarl of Riften used to own this castle as a strategic defense point, basically. Are they attacking me? They're not attacking me, are they? Surely not, guys. Are they attacking me? I'm going to have to reload if they are. They are attacking me. Oh my god. Okay, let's reload the autosave. Might have got carried away by killing the guy, but I mean, I just didn't want the competition. If you kill him early, you can honestly get away with it. Like, he just won't care. I'll do it properly now, I promise. I just thought I'd be able to get away with killing him. It did say last witness killed, 40 gold bounty removed, but apparently not. Hello there. Oh, hey there. You here to join the Dawn Guard too? Truth is, uh, I'm just going to run ahead of him and ignore him. Anything like this before. I hope you don't mind if I walk up with you. Oh, guys, by the way, those of you who are still worried about Lydia, it's fine. We saved her. She's okay. I actually went back to where we where she died and resurrected her. <laughs> so she's okay now. We'll get her back as a follower at some point. But right now we want to kind of play through the start on our own because we, we're going to get an awesome follower. As you guys know if you've already played this. If you haven't, I don't want to spoil it. Hello there. Changed your mind, huh? The Dawn Guard could use somebody like you. Indeed they could. Yeah, we already know we're going to sign up. I mean, that's why I'm here, bro. There's quite a few treasure chests in this castle, but I'm not going to show you them all. I'm going to mainly just go through the dialogue and um, we're going to get on with the main quest. There are quite a few side quests you unlock after doing the main quest for the Dawn Guard as well. But I mean, just look at this place. It looks beautiful. It's the most well done castle just in the game. And it's hidden away in this little canyon. So annoying. Why are you here, Tolan? The Vigilance and I were finished with each other a long time ago. You know why I'm here. The Vigilance are under attack everywhere. The vampires are much more dangerous than we believed. And now you want to come running to safety with the Dawn Guard, is that it? I remember Keeper Carset telling me repeatedly that Fort Dawn Guard is a crumbling ruin, not worth the expense and manpower to repair. And now that you've stirred up the vampires against you, you come begging for my protection. Isran, Carset is dead. The Hall of the Vigilance, everyone, they're all dead. You were right, we were wrong. Isn't that enough for you? Yes, well. I never wanted any of this to happen. I tried to warn all of you. I am... sorry, you know? So who are you? What do you want? So right from that conversation, right from the get-go, you know that Isran doesn't like pussies. This guy coming back trying to seek, seek shelter, he doesn't care. He doesn't want him here. So if I go ahead and say, Michael, thanks very much for the donation, mate. If I go ahead and say I'm here to join the Dawn Guard, I heard you were looking for vampire hunters. You heard right. I'm glad word's finally starting to get around. But that means it won't be long before the vampires start to take notice as well. Okay, what can I do to help? I need someone out in the field taking the fight to the damn vampires. While we're getting the fort back into shape. Tolan was telling me about some cave the Vigilants were poking around in. Seemed to think it was related to these recent vampire attacks. Tolan, tell him about, what was it? Dim Hollow. Yes, that's it. Dim Hollow Crypt. Brother Adelwald was sure it held some long-lost vampire artifact of some kind. We didn't listen to him any more than we did Isram. He was at the hall when it was attacked. That's good enough for me. Go see what the vampires were looking for in this dim hollow crypt. With any luck, they'll still be there. Here, you should take a crossbow. Good for taking out those fiends before they get close. Feel free to poke around the fort and take what you need. There isn't much yet, but you're welcome to anything you can use. I'll meet you at Dim Hollow. It's the least I can do. 
to avenge my fallen comrades. Dolan, I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> you vigilants were never trained. I for... know what you think of us. You think we're soft, that we're cowards. You think our deaths proved our weakness. Stand our grant that you do not have to face the same test and be found wanting. I'm going to Dim Hollow Crypt. Perhaps I can be of some small assistance to you. You there, boy. Stop skulking in the shadows and step up here. What's your name? I I'm, uh... My name is Agmir, sir. Do I look like a sir to you, boy? I'm not a soldier. And you're not joining the army. Yes, sir. E East Didn't I tell you to step forward? Hm. Farm boy, huh? What's your weapon? My weapon? I mostly just use my paw's axe. When wolves are attacking the goats or something. My paw's axe. <laughs> Stand up, preserve us. Don't worry. I think we can make a dawn guard out of you. Here, take this crossbow. Let's see how you shoot. Crossbow? I so you can watch this like them, crossbow. him trying to shoot a Best crossbow if you want, but vampires. basically the interesting part about this is that the Vigilant of Stendar, I'm just going to show you guys where to get some ammo while we're here because that's going to help me out. Someone on Facebook said to me, oh ESO, make sure you use the crossbow a bit because like the crossbow is a pretty cool weapon and I was like, bro, of course I'm going to use the crossbow. The crossbow is like my favorite weapon in the game. But yeah, if you come down here, you'll actually find some arrows and some steel bolts. We've got 140 steel bolts already. Simply, oh, and so that's arrows. How many bolts do we have? 89 bolts, not too bad. Let's put those on, ooh, do we want to put, um, I don't want to use them yet. I want to use my nightingale bow. So annoying how I get the nightingale bow and then I want to use my crossbow, oh well. We can't actually bring these huskies with us yet. Oh, Bran, I love you so much. I really want a husky, man. Look how cool he is. We can pick him up later, though, after we join the Dawn Guard. So right now, man, we're going to go back all the way to the front entrance, and we're going to go ahead to this area. Another way you can get crossbow bolts, when this guy fires the bolts into this box, you can literally just pick them up here. It's a good way to get like a few extra bolts. You know, every time you're here, just make sure you grab them from that box. Hello there. Isran found something for you to do, eh? I thought he'd like you. Good luck. Look at this guy's haircut, man. How swag is he? Right, so we need to go all the way over here to Dim Hollow Crypt. I'm going to go to the Skyborn Altar. Actually, no, that's a bad idea. Mm, that's the best way of getting here. Tower of Mazark, maybe. Yeah, maybe I... Okay, we'll go to Morthal, and then we'll we'll walk there. So I bet you that dragon has respawned at that location. So I don't really want to go there. Yeah, the, the huskies are so cool. I love them. I mean, I did, they're not very good for a sneaky character, but YOLO. <laughs> We're just going to bring them along next time anyway. I mean, after all, we're going to have um, have some difficulties, I think. Oh my god, is that a frostbite spider? It's chasing a deer? That poor deer. How did that go? Oh, I hate horse archery so much. You have to aim, like, right below it to actually hit it. Like, just here. Oh, okay, let's dodge that one. Don't fire your poison at me, you stupid spider. Spider scum. Okay, now we need to go over to this location. It shouldn't be too far away, guys. Don't start the Nazir crap. Don't you mean Nazim? Not Nazir. It's only a matter of time. Oh my god. Are those some, em those some Imperials trying to kill me? Because I joined the Stormcloaks earlier. So now they hate me. So hopefully this Vigilant of Stendhal will help us out a little bit with these vampires. The issue with, with vampires is like, we're on a reasonably hard difficulty. So we should be able to kill them quite easily with sneak attacks. But if they detect us, this is a mine we just need to pass through. 
if they detect us, it will pose quite a difficulty because their magic spells are going to do so much damage to us. I kind of wish that I just went to the Skyborn Altar because I could have just jumped off the cliff and I would have literally been there. What build am I using? It's kind of like a build we've been working on throughout the Let's Play, but mo it's basically just a sneaky archer. So if we go over to the left here, we should be able to find a walkway up. To be honest, I'm on a horse, so I could just climb up a vertical cliff and it would be fine, like so. Let's do that. Look, how is this possible? Skyrim physics. What have you done? <laughs> this mountain trekking horse is ridiculous. Your minds. Oh, hello there. Who's this? Is this a bandit? Who the bloody hell are these people? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take some distance back here, get off my horse, I think. Can I get off? Okay. Oh, that was weird. What's going on here? Are these bandits? Or did she kill them? Who is this lady? Who in Dagon's name are you? Speak, or I'll cut you down where you stand. Oh, this is this is another quest. This is a pretty cool quest though, guys. Frostmere Crypt, if you're interested. But we need to go over here. End this little game. Trying to think where the walkway up is. I know it's somewhere around here. I think we might have to go further around to the left. What the fuck are you doing, mate? Kind has no place here. What are you? What are you? What are you? What about? She didn't want me to go near the crypt. Is that it? This lady is angry. Bay, I'm gonna leave you to it. I don't have time for your antics. Look at her. She's trying to. She has it in for Shadow Mir too. How dare you? Yeah, I'm starting to wish I just fast traveled to the uh, the Skyborn Altar, I think it's called. But there is a way up this pass, I promise. How do I read this chat with great difficulty? It's quite hard to read, like, because it goes so quickly. Here we go, guys. Here's the way up. That's what I was looking for. I just want to, I want to start the quest, like, that's what I want to do. I don't want to, like, dilly-dally with crazy antics, but guys, seriously, look at this view, man. Look at this view! Oh, look, there's a dragon! There's a dragon over there! How cool does that look? There's Solitude on the left. Frostflow Lighthouse, up there on the right. All of the landmarks. Okay, man. We're literally here now. I don't see the Vigilant of Stendar. But I do see a torch on the doorstep. wonder why this is here. Let's take this. And then we're going to sneak mode and go inside. There's no sign of him apart from that torch. Who doesn't like Argonians? They're just like the underdog race. These Vigilants never know when to give up. I thought we'd taught them enough of a lesson at their hall. To come in here alone. A fool like all the rest of them. He fought well then. Jedon and Bressoth were no match for him. Ha! Those two deserved what they got. Their arrogance had become insufferable. All oh, this talk is making me thirsty. Perhaps another vigilant will wander in soon. I wish Loki would hurry it up. I have half a mind to return to the castle and tell Harkon what a fool he's entrusted this mission to. And I have half a mind to tell Loki of your disloyalty. You wouldn't dare. Now shut up and keep on watch. <sighs> right, conversation over. So it sounds like the Vigilant of Stendar came in here and killed some of them. Don't know if he's still alive. You can usually kill that guy though without alerting anyone. So now we need to open the door that's ahead. There is a lady vampire there, I think. But I can't really see her. Okay, we're going to hang on a sec. So the door we need to open is through here, because there's a lever we just need to pull to get it open. Let's turn out this torch. There's always an enchanted weapon here, guys. 
elven sword of garnering. Sounds like it's some kind of stamina enchantment. Elven armor! Oh, I, I don't care about elven armor anymore. I've got nightingale armor. But still, pretty cool. Activate chain and that op opens that gate over there. Oh, there she is. She literally pulled that torch out and I spotted her. Oh, shit. What the hell? That card just disappeared right in front of her. And my arrow just, like, hit the hit the wall that didn't exist somehow. I always take out the vampires before the hounds because the hounds don't do as much damage as the vamp as the vampire's magic does. Oh, get headshot right through the neck. So now this hound's going to come over and I'll just be like, denied! Get Rex on right through the heart. Oh, guys, you almost used the crossbow, don't you? I'll get that out right now. What I love about the Dawnguard quest line. <gasps> oh, shit! It's Tolan. This is where he died. Potion of Cure Disease, Torch. Oh, man. This is actually really good. He always has an enchanted Revenant. Well, any Warhammer. But it's always enchanted to make undead flee. So you can disenchant that or use it on the vampires. Master oh shit, so he killed a master vampire before he died. Look at all this vampire dust, man, I love it. Death Hound Collar are always so much worth so much gold. Okay, so what I want to do is get out my crossbow. This does 56 damage. Crossbow, however. Does 81 dam damage. And it's just a standard crappy steel crossbow. Uh, the I have done a video which I'll link below in the description of like the pros and cons of crossbow versus bow and why you want to use one or why you want to use the other one but it's an interesting video because I like, completely compare both of them and why you might want to use it look at this man just a nightingale outfit with a crossbow is looks sick and when you put it on your back it that looks so cool man the crossbow is just insane so, like, by siding with the Dawnguard, one of the things you can get is the Enhanced Dwarven Crossbow, which otherwise you would not be able to grab. There's a hidden chest. Thank you for the donation there. I can't actually read your name. Bespeckled Cathal something Lord Kin. <laughs> Those Imperials were undercover vampires. Maybe you're right. But there is a hidden chest just up here, which we're going to grab. Jump in on here. Ooh, a dead Draga. Now the vampires don't... Oh, an ebony bow. I'm going to give that to Lydia when I next see her as a little present. The crossbow is a bit slow at reloading, which actually makes it not an ideal weapon for this next situation. There's a vampire... Okay, so there's a skeleton there. We want to take out the vampire first, though. Can't see where she is. Oh, is that? That's her right there. Get wrecked! Literally, crossbow bolt to the knee there. Ah, oh, come on, man. I'm wasting crossbow bolts and skeletons. These, these guys actually have Nordic arrows, so that's not too bad. Boom. Oh, that didn't actually... How? <laughs> I hit him in the face and he still didn't detect me? Are you kidding? That's jokes. Ah, oh, didn't want to pick that up, did I? Where was the vampire lady? There she is. Get Rex on. Vampire. Okay. We're good. That's everyone in this room, I do believe. So this is a grave site, and she resurrected some skeletons to attack us. More glowing mushrooms. And a lever to the next room. Now, all these Draga have already been killed, so... I'm guessing they're just going around wiping out the dungeon. Uh, lesser soldier, might as well take it. It's worth gold. If you use the crossbow, use the Dawnguard armor. Oh look, you see, the vampire's attacking these Draga. I'm just going to sit and wait and see who wins. The weaker that vampire, the better. She's actually pretty strong. She's not taking much. Oh, get wrecked, though. In your elbow. 
get wrecked. Oh, the hound is still alive. I was wondering why he was still taking damage. Look at his little face. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> the crossbow does so much damage. The only thing is it makes noise when you um, fire a bolt off. So obviously if there's quite a few enemies around, then um, sometimes they can discover you a bit easier. Immortal Blood, really good book about vampires if you like your lore. Um, the vampires uniform, some of them are enchanted, which is pretty good to... Um... Oh. oh, there is a Draga down here. Oh, get hit in the face. Look at this guy. He's like, oh, I don't know what happened. Can I actually take him out? The crossbow bash is so weak. MMFQ death. Thank you very much for the um, donation. I wish my bash did more damage. There must be a mod that increases bash damage. You can't do the little trick that you can do with the bow. Um, where you fire a shot and then immediately bash attack them. Which gives you more bash attack damage. I bet this is going to be mass master lock. Let's see. Oh, I kind of want to... I want to get in there. The annoying thing about crossbow bolts in this game is they're very elusive and hard to come by. So I might install... I might um, have to craft some or something. At some point. We should be fine for this video, but I'll craft it in between. Do I really want to sit here and try and unlock this? Levy, thank you for the donation. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna waste your time, guys. I'm not gonna sit there and force you to watch me try and unpick a master chess. There are some health potions just here. There's also health potions here as well, but you can't actually get to them. They're just there. I don't know why they're there, but it's kind of annoying. This is the way we actually have to go, though. Into this cave. So there's an open mass of water, and you can just see a vampire lady sitting up there. So obviously I want to take her out first. Get wrecked! Right in her heart. She just lobs her sword into the air. Then all these skeletons just appear out of the water. It reminds me of like the White Walkers when they just come up. Look at this guy. He thinks he's cool because he's got armor on. Denied! I thought he was going to shout at me then. Like honestly, thought he was uh, getting ready to shout at me. If you guys haven't checked out my Instagram yet, it's down below in the description. You can see my White Walker cosplay, which is pretty good fun. Okay, man, so we've taken out this lady, Vampire Dust. Ooh, Ruby Circler. Don't mind if I do. I'm going to save the game right here. Just so if we do die, I don't need to worry. Ooh, there's a dead spider there. This lady, ready? Get wrecked! I love the kill cams. They look so good. Rem Farley. Happy birthday, man. Hope you're having a good day. I would give everyone a birthday shout out, but I only just noticed that one. We're doing well. I'm happy so far. We've not been detected, so we haven't died. This is. Oh shit, there is a vampire near me. Oh, don't resurrect the spider. Oh my god. Get a headshot. Did that? No. How did I sneak attack for three times damage? Did I fire a crossbow bolt at it? I must have, because there's no way I would have killed it otherwise. Surely not. Must have been the crossbow bolt that killed it. There's a chest up here. Don't be a master lock. Okay, it's not even locked. 11 gold. Jesus. Almost rather it was locked. What's that? Oh, someone up ahead. Jesus Christ. Look at this massive spider that this guy is just dual. Okay, he wrecked it. He hit it like twice. And that was it. Master vampire. Not such a master of sneak, though, are you, bro? Considering that's three times sneak damage, this guy has a lot of health. But he is no match for the crossbow. Sometimes I feel like sneaking through these levels is a bit easier. 
But I know on this difficulty you wouldn't stand a chance if you were to like attack that guy head on. Frostbite Venom. Hmm. It's really weird, isn't it? We just went through this Nordic 2 and then suddenly the architecture changes and we discover this weird vampire place. Okay, let's go inside. This is the cavern. There is not... I'll never there. tell you anything, vampire. I oath to stand. Are you sure that was wise, Lokio? He still might have told us something. We haven't gotten anywhere ourselves Thank with you. nothing. He served his purpose by leading us to this place. Now it is up to us to bring Harkon the prize, and we will not return without it. Vingalmo and Orthion will make way for me after this. Yes, of course, Loki. Do not forget who brought you news of the Vigilance discovery. I never forget who my friends are, or my enemies. Sounds like Lokir is the boss man here. But make sure you grab this scroll of Firestorm. If you don't use it now, it's useful later. Why is there like so much wind coming over this doorstep? What's going on? Hmm, okay. It's weird this place, isn't it? I mean it doesn't belong in a Draga. Um a Draga tomb, a Nordic tomb. The architecture is just completely different. With all these gargoyles that look more like sentries that have been placed here by someone else. I mean, clearly this place isn't as old as the tomb. It must have been built after. Notes on Dim Hollow Crypt, Volume 3. I'm sure that'll explain some of it. Cure disease. Ah, oh, this is really important, guys. Child Skeever Hide and Mud Crab Chitting. Very common ingredients as well. And he was a Vigilant of Stendar. As the other Vigilant said, he was the guy who died in the crypt. Okay, so we're going to have a bit of distance here, man. And let's see if we can snipe anyone. Pirate, thank you for the donation. Really appreciate it, man. This lady, she's going down first. Oh! Oh, yes! Oh, Loki, I probably should have got the sneak attack on him first. He's gone around resurrecting everyone now. Oh, man, that must have just missed him. Look, just to show you guys, let me show you how much damage like, they do. So this guy, Vampire Thrall. Oh, okay. Dodge skills 9,000, mate. That absorb health spell is terrible. You don't stand a chance. The nice thing is, is that you can like just hit people like that to stagger them and then quickly get shot off. These vampires are just low level, I reckon, because we're just wrecking them. Which is surprising. Compared to like the last stream where we were pelting that dragon with arrows for about half an hour. I mean, this is relatively easy. Okay, so now we've got to do a puzzle. Who likes puzzles? Use this button. This is a really cool animation. I love it when they put animations in Skyrim. Look at this, man. It's like you require the blood to actually, like, like a sacrifice to activate the puzzle. Okay, so we've got this massive purple shroud around us, and we follow it. We have a brazier, and basically we just push this to the end here to complete the circuit. And then the brazier has another purple path. And let's just search the skeleton. And then we can push this to the end of that purple path to expand it to the next one. That leads to this one, so we push that in there. Really, really easy puzzle, man. But then most puzzles in Skyrim are very easy. This one is no different, but it's pretty fun. Like, I do like interactive puzzles like this, as easy as they might be. There are some harder ones. Let's loot this vampire. No, she doesn't have anything useful. This must... Is that the last one? Oh. Oh, here we go. A mysterious stone monolith. Which is the front? I think this is the front. Oh, hello there. A pretty lady. A mysterious woman. 
with an Elder Scroll. Hello there. Uh, where is... Who sent you here? That's not your concern, bitch. What were, who were you expecting? I was expecting someone... Like me, at least. Like, you can... Well, I guess it's obvious. You can see she's a vampire because of her eyes. I think that's a mod I have, though. Are you, uh... Vampire. Yes. The Dawn Guard would want me to kill you! Well, why are you locked away like this? That's... complicated. And I'm not totally sure if I can trust you. But if you want to know the whole story, help me get back to my family's home. Hmm... Where do you need to go? My family used to live on an island to the west of Solitude. I would guess they still do. By the way, my name is Serana. Good to meet you. Serana, it's nice to meet you too. Any idea how we get out of here? Your guess is as good as mine. This place looks pretty different from when I was locked away. Why were you locked away? I'd rather not get into that with you. If that's alright. I'm sorry, it's not that... It's just that I don't know who I can trust yet. Let's get to my home, and I'll have a better sense of where we all stand. Guys, I'll level up in a moment. <laughs> How long were you in there? Good question. Hard to say. I... I can't really tell. I feel like it was a long time. Who is Skyrim's High King? High King? That's actually a matter up for debate, really. Oh, wonderful. A war of succession. Good to know the world didn't get boring while I was gone. Who are the contenders? So there's the Empire who supports Elsif, but there are also many people in Skyrim loyal to Ulfric, the true High King. Empire? What? What Empire? The Empire from Cyrodiil. Cyrodiil is the seat of an Empire? I must have been gone longer than I thought. Definitely longer than we planned. Please, let's hurry. I need to get home so I can figure out what's happened. Is that an Elder Scroll? That's what's on her back, by the way. Yes, it is. And it's mine. Why do you have an Elder Scroll? It's... complicated. I can't really talk about it. I'm sorry. It's complicated as your relationship with your dad. Tell me about your home. It's on an island near Solitude. Hopefully we can find a boat to take us there. It's my family home. Not the most welcoming place, but depending on who's around, I'll be safe there. Why wouldn't you be safe there? Let's just say that my mother and father had a bit of a falling out. Don't worry, I'm not in any danger or anything like that. It'll just be more unpleasant to run into my father. Okay, I need to trace some things with you. We can steal her stuff. Not going to happen. But Bay. I think I'll hang on to my things, thank you. No, thank you. Not going to happen. Okay, um, let's go. Follow me. I know what I'm doing, lol, joke, not really. Who's this? Vampire Thrall. Oh, right, we killed this lady earlier. Mm, I do believe there's a chest on the other side of this room, actually, before we leave. Oh, guys, let me level up so you guys can chill. Oh, I actually do have a disease, because my health is not as it should be. Um, I think I'm going to need more health for this playthrough. So we're going to do that. And then I have one perk point to increase. Let's take a quick look at our sneak. Because requires level 100. We only have 90 sneak. I don't want to put it in stealth. Archery. 15% chance of paralyzing the target. Obviously we don't can't get that yet. We could get critical. We don't really need that though because of sneak attacks. The only useful perk on this side of the tree is Ranger for me, in my opinion. Right, let me get my healing potion of cure disease. There we go. Now we should be good. So you can see my health has gone back up. Who's there? Fuck, what the f- Oh shit, I fucking hate these guys. Gargoyles. Get wrecked some. Look at the animations on these guys, they're so cool. 
I literally, I remember the first time walking up these steps, and one of these guys attacked me, I was just like, No, thank you! <laughs> Can't believe I missed that, come on. Who's there? Am I, like, seriously, yeah. one sec. I'm on expert, let's put it on master. Like, There's why is the game so easy? Like, the animations are... Fuck, who the fuck is... Oh, right, oh yeah, she's a vampire, she also resurrects people. My crossbow is just so strong, or maybe it's because we're early on in this quest line. But that gargoyle was pathetic. Like, come at me, bro. There is a chest somewhere around here. Here we go, here it is. Ruby Dwarven Bolt. And here's the chest. 67 gold. Potion of healing, which we'll probably need later on. And we can just jump around here, because there's like a little secret dead body here. With next to this coffin. And he's got some big coin purses next to him. So we're gonna grab that too. And then we can come out of this way. This feels like the right way. I was starting to worry. Serena's dialogue's pretty good as a follower. I do like her. She always comments on the story a bit more than the other followers. This room's way too big to be like safe. This is clearly the way out, but also the way to my doom. I love the kill cam Who's there? for the crossbow. It looks sick, man. Oh, come I on. I, I failed. I that was a sneak attack. That wasn't a bloody sneak attack, was it? Serana throwing ice spikes at people like some savage. The only thing I'm going to miss is not having a tank like Lydia to help me out. Only one Dwarven Bolt. We're going to be running out of Dwarven Bolts probably this episode. Oh, the kill cam! <laughs> Skeleton kill cams are so stupid. Serena, you keep scaring the crap out of me with your bloody resurrected Draga and stuff. I don't like it at all. Okay, so that lever basically opened this door for us. I don't like the look of this. I don't like the look of this either. It's a giant ass room. With some Draga in it. Is that guy going to come alive? Definitely is. not he? Can we like shoot him now? Oh my god. He has a lot of health. Serana, I hope you're ready for this. This is a sneak attack. That's a sneak attack. That's three times damage. We need to kill this guy before he comes anywhere near me. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. God damn it. Serana, I'm glad you heard something because I can see about 10 guys down there. What? He just dodged that like an absolute boss. Get wrecked. He's going to shout. He's trying to shout. I'm denying him the ability to shout here. Look at this guy. He's a bullet sponge. Archer increased to 86. <laughs> Get Rex on. Sit back down. There's just a few more skeletons around. And there's also a word wall, which I can't forget to get. This place is really weird. Ooh, oh, no, it's not enchanted. Thought it would be enchanted. This place is... Oh, yes. It's strange, because, like, look. It's like... Yeah, it's like a coliseum. That's a good way of describing it. Another kill cam. I'm getting, like, kill cams left, right, and center here. Look at this cinematic action. But there's a fire pit in the middle. And there's a stage and all these seats around it. And then like clearly the main overlord. Where, where did his body go? Did I loot his body already? One sec, where did his corpse go? What are you doing, Serena? Do you have like back problems? Get the fuck up. Stop that. Aren't we there yet? Stop doing that, you weirdo. I don't know where he went. But, um, oh, one sec, I need those arrows. I need those arrows. And there's a boss chest here. Yeah, it does look like uh, an arena with, like, a massive fire pit in the middle. That guy's, like, praying down there. It's a pretty sick little area. I wish I knew, like, the significance of it or the story behind it. Anyway, let's grab this shout and I'll stop going on. 
Nightingales are indeed the assassins Ubisoft wished they had. Someone else said that in the last stream. What's going on now, Serena? Who's this broski attacking you? Oh, it's a mage. Serena Serana's getting beaten up by a skeleton. That was sick, man. He got, like, double team right there. Okay, let's get out of this godforsaken place. I don't like it at all. What's my favourite guild from Oblivion? Definitely the Dark Brotherhood. Easy question. Easy answer. By far the Dark Brotherhood. That was like the best Dark Brotherhood uh, missions ever. It's so good to breathe again. Even in this weather, it's better than the cave. I like how she puts her hood on outside. Shouldn't we keep moving? I really want to get back home. I guess so. I wonder if we can still see that dragon flying over our head and then we'll go. Nah, man, I can't see anything. It's too snowy. Wife her. I don't think you can marry Serena, I'm afraid. She can be your bae. Like, there's certain dialogue options you can choose. Um, to... Oh, I don't know. I kind of want to leave that until later and for those of you that don't know, so we can just... I can show you it. Volskaig, I think, is literally the closest place we can travel to. This castle is awesome, though. This is, like, the second coolest castle after Fort Dawnguard. Just... Oh, shit. Shadow man. Oh, bae. You don't have a horse. Sorry, bro. <laughs> I've got to get there reasonably quickly, after all. Let's wait a couple of hours till daytime. Oh, no clouds. There we go, that's better. We can travel in this this light. I like this. So guys, it's going to happen soon. We're going to have the choice. Do we follow the Dawn Guard or do we become a vampire and basically try and take over the world for the vampires? Oh, shh. A wolf. A woof. Hello, Mr. Woof. I can't actually aim that low, I'm afraid. Serana, help me. Help me, Serana. I'm going to get killed by this bloody wolf. You know what, Serana? Oh, thank you, Stormcloaks. Well done, bros. Let's go down into this. Look, you can see it. Literally, the Dawnguard DLC adds this huge ass castle. Oh my god, it's massive. I just want to discover this location. Rimrock. Jesus. I thought that was like a trap. I thought it fell through like those wooden boards there. Oh my god. That was scary. Okay. Trust me, guys. We're going to be fine. <laughs> I've got this. Serana, I don't think she can ride down cliffs like I can, but... Shadow Mirror Man, he's got my back. We're all good. Look at this. Cliff riding skills. <laughs> Ooh, there are some Thalma there if you guys want to get like glass armor or elven armor depending on your level. But we're just going to walk past because we need to get over to this jetty here. That is where I need to go, my friends. Just here, because this is our ticket to that really scary looking castle over there. Mr. Fox, how are you doing today? How are you, Mr. Fox? Goodbye. <laughs> I never get bored of just like wrecking the wildlife in Skyrim. Serana. Out there to the north. We used to keep a boat around here to get there and back. There's one just there, Bay. What now? I think we should leave each other alone. <laughs> Right, let's go and see Mr. Your family then. Icewater Jetty. Travel to Castle. Let's do this, Serana. Lots of people are saying vampire. Dawn Guard. Let's get indoors. Or in a cave. Anywhere. Just out of this. Oh. It's going to be a tricky decision, guys. I'm leaning towards Dawn Guard. Most people in the chat were saying Dawn Guard earlier. 
and I kind of want to show you guys all the cool crossbows you can get. Maybe we'll have to do two Let's Plays. Maybe we'll have to come back and do the Vampire one. How creepy is this castle, man? It's so creepy. Hello there! Hey, so, before we go in there... Uh, are you alright? I think so. And thanks for asking. I wanted to thank you for getting me this far. But after we get in there, I'm going to go my own way for a while. I think. I know your friends would probably want to kill everything in here. I'm hoping you can show some more control than that. Once we're inside, just keep quiet for a bit. Let me take the lead. After all these years, Lady Serana's back. Now that's something. I watched the gate. Ain't much else to tell. I watched the gate. Literally isn't much else you say either, is there, bro? What now? So this is your home? This is it. Jesus, home Serana. Sweet castle. Uh, why didn't you tell me it was so big, you fairy princess? I didn't want you to think I was one of those, you know, the women who just sit in their castle all day. I don't know. Coming from a place like this, it's not really me. I hope you can believe that. Okay, let's do this. Let's go inside. Before we go inside there, guys, I'm just going to quickly see if I can control air. Whoa, okay. I'm just control effing. Vampire. Okay, 106 people have said vampire. I'm aware there might be some repeats. 120 people have said Dawn Guard. Okay, so it looks like we're going with Dawn Guard. Obviously, some of you have probably said it like seven times, but that's the cl that's the best way I can do it. How dare you trespass here? Wait, Serana? Is that truly you? I cannot believe my eyes. Oh, Jesus! She wasn't even here yet. She just appeared. My lord, everyone! Serana has returned. I guess I'm expected. I can't believe it. He's already got the booze out, man. He is happy. My long-lost daughter returns at last. I trust you have my Elder Scroll. After all these years, that's the first thing you ask me? Yes, I have the scroll. Of course, she I has would like to, to see you, my daughter. Must I really say the words aloud? Ah, if only your traitor mother were here. I would let her watch this reunion before putting her head on a spike. Now tell me, who is this stranger you have brought into our hall? This is my son. boyfriend. The one who freed me. For my daughter's safe return, you have my gratitude. Tell me, what is your name? I am a car. Who are you? I love it when they have those speech options where you can, uh... Yeah, I can tell you're buzzing to give me your name, though, bro. Very well. I am Harkon, lord of this court. By now, my daughter will have told you what we are. You're a reclusive cannibal cult. I don't really care who you are or what you are. We can just go full on. Yeah, we'll just say you're vampires. Not just vampires. We are among the oldest and most powerful vampires in Skyrim. For centuries we lived here far from the cares of the world. All that ended when my wife betrayed me and stole away that which I valued most. His sweet roll. Um, do I get a reward for finding your daughter? How about a kiss? I was about to suggest that very thing. Yes, you must certainly deserve a reward. There is but one gift I can give that is equal in value to the Elder Scroll and my daughter. I offer you my blood. Take it and you will walk as a lion among sheep. 
Men will tremble at your approach, and you will never fear death again. You can see all the bloody goblets around, like, with that blood edge. Pretty cool. I love the quotes as well, like, a lion among sheep. What a good line. And if I refuse your gift? Then you will be prey, like all mortals. I will spare your life this once, but you will be banished from this hall. Perhaps you still need convincing. Behold the power! Oh god. This is the power that I offer. Now, make your choice. We're going with Dawnguard, guys. So if you accept the gift, you side with the vampires. And it's pretty fucking epic, by the way. But because this character is just like not taking advantage of the magic or any of that kind of stuff. It's not going to be the best idea for this character to be a vampire anyway. It wouldn't really enhance him. So, to be honest, like, the logical decision for this character is to go Dawn Guard, and then maybe I'll make a vampire build later on down the line, and we'll go and play the Dawn Guard DLC with a build, or something like that. I think that would be, like, a cooler way to experience it. So, I don't want to become a vampire. I refuse your gift. So be it. You are prey, like all mortals. I banish you. Oh shit, bro. What are you doing? Why did he like cast a weird... Oh, it's a loading screen. Is that Lydia? Bay! Bay's got my back! Lydia's here for me! She was like, bra. Ready to get going? Yeah, I'm ready, Lydia. You? Oh, shit. Lydia's left me already. Aw, Lydia. I guess we're going this way anyway, man. But we need to speak to Serana now. And I think she's gone back to Fort Dawnguard anyway. Which is all the way on the other side of the map. Fort Dawnguard. Let's go to Fort Dawnguard, guys. Here we are, back at the fort. Right, let's have a look at our map. Fort Dawnguard. Uh, why do I need to look at the map? I don't need to look at the map. I wish it wouldn't spawn me so far away from the bloody fort. Now I just gotta run there. I'm just gonna leave this deer here. So it like runs around in fear every single time I walk past it. Fear me, deer. Hopefully I've actually uh, started sorting out the force a bit. I think the next quest we need to go and recruit some people for the Dawn Guard. And then after you recruit the people, they like start setting up their little shops and stuff in the fort. And you can start doing like side quests for them to help you out. Oh, hello. Uh, rude. Uh, what do you want, Cat? Huh? I, I hope the vampires try to... Uh, you're a bit of a bitch. A lot easier than I already do not like you. We're almost there, guys. What the hell was that? Oh shit, there are vampires attacking. It's all kicking off. Who's who? Don't want to accidentally hit my man. That master vampire, though, has a lot of health. Is that? Oh, that's Yisran. Or Isran. Oh my god, I didn't mean to hit you, bro. I'm so sorry. Get wrecked. No, no, one sec. Wait, 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 man. I didn't mean to hit him. Jesus Christ, they just fucking cave at me. They were like, you're a vampire too. Look at Isran. He's got this awesome effect. This is um, one of the effects you can get from one of the Dawnguard unique weapons. But you have to side with the Dawnguard to get it. Basically, if you're a mage, I think Dawnguard... I mean, the vampires are the best option. But if you're like a warrior or a sneaky archer or something, then Dawnguard is definitely going to be your best bet. Why are you, like, groping him, you weirdo? Look at this. I should have known it was only a matter of time before they found us. It's the price we pay for openly recruiting... We'll have to step up our defenses. I don't suppose you have some good news for me. I have news, but I wouldn't call it good. Of course. 
Why did I suppose differently? Fine. Tell me what you know. The vampires were looking for a woman trapped in Dim Hollow. A woman? Trapped in there? That doesn't make any sense. Who is she? More importantly, where is she? She wanted to go home, so I took her to her castle. I mean, it just makes me sound so dumb, doesn't it? She's the daughter of a powerful vampire lord. And so you delivered her to them? Yes. She was pretty fit, though, so... They had an Elder Scroll. And I also gave it to them. They what? And you didn't stop them? You didn't secure the scroll? Sorry. <laughs> I'm lucky I even made it out alive. Right. So they have this woman and an Elder Scroll by the Divines. This couldn't get much worse. This is more than you and I can handle. We have to do something. Well, of course we do. I'm old, not stupid. We are just going to need some help. If they're bold enough to attack us here, then this may be bigger than I thought. I have good men here, but there are people I've met and worked with over the years. We need their skills, their talents, if we're going to survive this. If you can find them, we might have a chance. Where can I find the people we need, O oh Isran? Right to the point, aren't you? I like that. Not like those fools in the Order. We should keep it small. Too many people and we'll draw unwanted attention to ourselves. I think we'll want Serene Gerard. Breton girl, whip smart and good with tinkering. Fascination with the Dwemer. Weapons in particular. Last I knew, she was out in the Reach. Convinced she was about to find the biggest dwarven ruins yet. She'll help us. Might need a little convincing. But she should. You'll also want to find Gunmar. Big brood of a Nord. Hates vampires almost as much as I do. Got it into his head years back that his experience with animals would help. Trolls in particular, from what I hear. Last I knew he was out scouring Skyrim for more beasts to tame. Bring the two of them back here, and we can get started on coming up with a plan. Sounds good. What's the Dawn Guard, by the way? What do you have against Vigilance? Yeah, that's an interesting one. Isn't it obvious? They're soft. The lot of them. Totally unprepared for any real threat. And yet I was the one ridiculed for trying to be ready for anything. Too extreme, they called me. Well, that doesn't seem to have worked out in their favor now, has it? Basically thinks they're wusses. Okay. Stay alert. You stay alert too. How dark it is outside, man. Jeez. Okay, so now we've got these three different map markers. Three different people we have to recruit to the Dawn Guard. Uh, let's get rid of my one. Okay, so one... Where's the third? A new order. Oh, okay. It's only two people. My bad. Recruit Gunmar. He's just here in this cave. If we got no locations near there. I haven't actually been to the Mammoth Graveyard yet. Okay, let's go to Kynes Grove and then we can go over here. I'm just going to put a second marker there. Because otherwise I'll get mixed up between both of them. Choke Isran with a sweet roll. <laughs> Savage. What's your least favourite character in the game? Definitely Nazim. I mean, I get asked that question like every stream. It's Nazim, man. I hate Nazim. Nazim needs to die. Yeah, I mean, joining the Dawn Guard is as fun as a mage as well, because, especially if you like Restoration, because you get all the anti-vampire spells, which are all like new Restoration spells, and they are so awesome. They do a new type of damage called Sun Damage, which is awesome. I've got a weather mod on. That's why the rain sounds awesome and also looks awesome. I think it's Climates of... No, Vivid Weathers, I think. Climates of Tamriel is also a good mod as well, though. Do a Dawn Guard build. Oh, it's a good shout. Could do that, couldn't I? I think we go, like, Restoration and Archery. What do you guys think of the Daedric build I did recently? I've still not finished it. I still need to do another video this weekend. 
on um, some cool things you can do. I had a lot of toothache though, which is the reason I couldn't do as much as I... Why is he... Why is he down here? Hey bro, why are you just chilling here, man? You there, hold fast. I've tracked this damn bear for two weeks. I'll not let it have any more victims. Okay, Isra needs your help, though. Isra needing someone else's help. Never thought I'd hear that. I'm afraid he's a few years too late. Besides, he can handle anything alone. He should be so himself. Could he possibly need my help with? We're up against vampires, Gumba. Vampires? That... Well, that might change things. Tell me more about what's going on. Okay, um, we're not sure, but they might have an Elder Scroll. By the eight. Alright, look. Okay, Sigrid. I can't just leave this bear to prey on more innocent people. Once it's dealt with, then perhaps I'll see what these are expects of me. Okay, then you savage. Let's take this bear the fuck out. What EMB am I using? I actually don't remember what EMB I'm using. Oh, what's this? What is that? Oh, it's like... How many bears are there in here? This is a bit more than a bear cave, bro. This is a spider lair. Hence all the spider stuff that was outside it. Get Rex up. Literally all come into my crossbow. I don't want to kill you. I want to kill the bear. Leave me alone, spiders. Where is he? Okay, he's going to be down here somewhere. Is he even coming with me? I don't know. Oh, well. I'm just going to go do this on my own because it'll probably be faster, to be honest. I bet he's going to be, like, right at the end. Oh, yes. Read the lusty Argonian maid in a serious voice. How many people want me to do that? This is such a big dungeon to, like... Do you know what? We'll do it. Take out all these spiders. Get Rex on. That was so funny on Thieves Guild. Um, oh, one sec, one sec. Okay, here we go. This is the opportunity for it. <laughs> oh, get Rex on. What are you looking at, bro? The crossbow does so much damage. Look at this damage. It's crazy. Crazy. Look at that spider drowning alive there. I think there's actually a... Um, chest hidden underwater. Shit, the fucking underwater spider. Get out. Get out. Oh my god, I fucking hate spiders. Underwater spiders, I'm not a fan of. How do you kill it? How do I fucking kill it? Fucking what, mate? It's right there. It's... Ah, <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> is he dead now? He's fucking dead. Thank god. There is a chest just under here, though. Look at this. Give me that chest. Ooh, Lydia could use this shield. But I'm not going to carry it around for her. Did I ask Lydia for, to follow me? No, I didn't. She just showed up and then she left. That silly hoe. Ah, we have to go this way. Oh, I hate the sound they make. Oh, that was a really weird kill cam just then. Get Rex on. I should have really just saved my uh, my crossbow bolts. I've kind of messed up there already, haven't I? Because they do so much damage, I should have saved them for, like, the tricky enemies. There are ways we can get more of them, but... There's the bear. Look, he's going to take out these... Oh my god, there's a big spider! What is he doing? Is he trying to mate with the spider? I knew I had something. Oh, his Gunma. He's fucking taking on a... He's like a zookeeper, this guy, man. He's just like, I'll take on the bear and that giant ass frost spider and all those little spiders and everything. This crazy ass guy. What is he doing? Take out this giant... I hate spiders, man. Leave me alone. 
we're not going to be able to kill it before we run out of crossbow ammo. Look at this guy, just getting poisoned from all directions. Get away from me, cave bear. There we go, he's down. Come on, gunner. Why do you want to recruit this guy anyway? I mean, like, he almost died from a bear. The guy's crazy, I'll give him that, but I mean, two crossbow bolts. I swear I pelted this guy with, like, 20. Search chest. Uh, don't need it. Don't need it. Nothing useful. Don't know how well I'd have managed by myself. You have my thanks. You've helped me, so I suppose the least I can do is find out what Isran wants. He's still at that fort near Stendar's beacon, I assume. Yes, that's right, in Fort Dawnguard. How did you know? If Isran is anything, he's stubborn. He's been working on that place for years now. Never lets anyone in. His own little fortress. Well, I guess I'll get to see what he's been up to all this time. I'll meet you there. Okay, Bay. See you later. I don't know. He must have come in like the shortcut way. Because he just sort of appeared at the end of that cave. Hmm. Strange. There's actually a lantern here, which means someone must have explored it. Oh, okay. We can just hop down here and this is the exit. Easy! Now we've got to go and get the other lady to join Fort Dawnguard. Still raining like crazy. Hopefully the weather will change once we travel across the world. Hmm. Trying to think. I think she asked you to maybe... Oh, there's enemies nearby? Yeah, look. Look at all these, like, cobwebs. There's even a dead mammoth that's just been killed by the spiders here. Like, these spiders are clearly just savage. Okay, now I can wait. So I don't know what enemy was close to me. It's probably the dragon, to be honest. Um, best way to go from is this area. Where's Lydia? I'm sorry, guys. I'll take Lydia on the next adventure. Oh, Jesus, what is that? What's that noise? Is that Lydia? Who the fuck? Oh, my God! Get on the horse! Oh, my God! I'm gonna die. Oh, fuck's sake, man. This is what happens when you get jumped on Master Difficulty. It's like we're doing so well through the whole campaign. And then you you turn the... Like, literally, like, you show up somewhere and completely unawares, Skyrim butt fucks you. It's just like, nope! Nope, don't want to go there. We're going to go to this other place. Why don't you do Fallout New Vegas guides? Uh, I could go back to doing them. I've already done quite a few, but... I could definitely go back to doing them, man. Okay, I want to go back over here. What's that sound? Fucking dragon! Of course there's a dragon! <laughs> Why do you do this to me, Skyrim? That's the direction I need to go. Shadowmere, make haste! Oh my god, there's a dragon in the darkness. I can't even see the bloody thing. It's just a red dot on my... Run, goat! Run for the hills, Mr. Goat! You're going to die! What is the easiest build? Probably my shout build is the easiest build to play. It takes a little effort to, like, set up, but, you know, once you set it up, it's just so funny. It's good fun. My horse is a little bit tired. Where am I going? Okay, she should be down here at the bottom near that river there. My horse is doing like acrobats. Oh my god, it's a saber cat! Luckily the saber cat was drunk and completely missed us. Hopefully this lady can help me out here. Because there is a saber cat and a dragon after me. Hey babe. How's it going? This isn't a good place to be. There's a dragon over there. Oh my god. Seriously. Okay, talk to me. You haven't seen a sack full of dwarven gyros lying around, have you? I swear I left it right here. Okay, we gotta go find a... <laughs> Shit, it's a fucking dragon above me. What the hell? I'm gonna have to get my bow out. Uh, Nightingale... Bow. What's that? Ebony bow? 73. 
Nightingale bow, 56. Oh, god damn it. It's because it's a leveled weapon, which is why it's, like, not very good, effectively. Steel arrows. We're going to have to take this guy out, man. For the sake of killing this thing in this video, I'm going to put the video down to expert, so it doesn't take me half an hour. Sanguine dragon. Come at me, boo. I hope she's actually going to help me out here, man. Oh, it's okay. Shadow Mage is just going to tank this boy for us. Dragon Rend is what I want. I'm just going to read the chat while... Shadowmere tanks for us. I don't know why these dragons, like, hate Shadowmere. They've clearly got something against him. I will do, I think, the Dragonborn DLC maybe after this one. To be honest, if I put a vote up, it'll probably be the next one people want me to play. Get off my horse. Good sir. He can't take off now because he's injured, so we're literally just going to pet him to death. Why is she just standing here? Why does Isran want to recruit this peasant I have a good mind to shoot you in the face I mean at least you could like do something to the dragon come on what are you doing just standing there just one giant Isran asked one me to find you Isran wants me no you must be mistaken he made it exceedingly clear the last time we spoke that he had no interest in my help I find it hard to believe he's changed his mind he said some very hurtful things to me before I left. Anyway, I'm quite happy in my current pursuits. So if you'll excuse me... You had a falling out. Well, vampires threaten all the Skyrim. We need your help. Vampires? Really? Oh, and I suppose now he remembers that I proposed no less than three different scenarios that involved vampires overrunning the population. Well, what are they up to? I can see why he probably found you annoying, love, but um, they've got an Elder Scroll. I... well, that's actually something I never would have anticipated. Interesting. I'm not sure what they would do with one, but in this case, Isran is probably correct in thinking it isn't good. All right. If nothing else, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to learn more about what's going on so I can better defend myself. But I'm not just going to abandon what I've been working on here. It's too useful. I need at least one intact Dwarven Gyro. So either I need to find the satchel those mud crabs stole, or I need another Gyro from someplace. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? Yes, I keep one in my ass. There's no time. You need to get moving right now. I'm sorry, Damn it. I'm not about to do that. It's really dead then? Oh, okay, I'm sorry, we'll skip through this conversation gyro again. Would be enough, I, I don't have any gyros. Well, then I'm very sorry, but I can't just walk away from this Okay, we've got to yet. find these bloody gyros. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's been looking in these containers, okay. Oh, it's 5am, right, let's wait two hours, quickly. I prefer it when it's daytime. These dwarven gyros... Here we go, idiot. Right next to the... Literally right in front of her. I hate this lady. Just one gyro. One, and I can get back... I understand. A single gyro. Okay, here you go. Me. I've got them. Thank you. It's not much, but this will help a great deal with some things I've been researching. Now, where is it Isran expects me to go? Why has she got a cup in her hand? We're meeting at Fort Dawnguard. Ah, been working more on his secret hideout, has he? It'll be interesting to see how much progress he's made. I'll finish up here and head in that direction as soon as I can. See you there. Alright, mate. See you there. Return to Isran. Um. I'm trying to think. I thought there was a secret. If you follow this river down here, there's a chest like hidden underwater around here, I do believe. But I'm not going to show you guys right now. I just thought I'd point it out. Right. Um. ESO you should do a giveaway at 1 million. I should. Um, I'm definitely going to do that. It's a good idea, man. Give something back to you guys for your support. Because I really appreciate your support, guys. This video's almost got 1,000 likes, actually. Which is crazy. It's not even being uploaded yet. Okay, so... 
We need to go back to Fort Dawnguard, Jack. Fort Dawnguard. Here we are. The annoying thing about Fort Dawnguard is it's always on the opposite side of the map. Okay, so now let me have a look at our quest. New order, return to Isran. Let's go back. Let's kill this rabbit. Ooh, we'll kill the one further away. Get wrecked! Get wrecked! That deer, I'm just going to leave him alive. He's not going to die. He's going to be here this whole let's play. Unless I get really angry, in which case we'll kill him. But no, I think, I think we'll let him live. So guys, I think I'm going to end the let's play here. I'm going to be streaming tomorrow night as well though. And I'll be streaming pretty much every single night. Uh, even on the weekend. Because my girlfriend's currently in Holland. Um, visiting her parents. So this means that pretty much I'm just going to be streaming every night. It's going to be fucking awesome. So we're going to do another stream tomorrow. And I'm going to stream for at least an hour every single night. I also want to start doing a Witcher 3 let's play. Which is going to be like recorded videos. I'm still going to be doing Skyrim videos on the weekend as well. But um, after this video is uploaded, let me know in the comment section what you guys think of that. It's going to be good fun. I'll basically just be making more content, really, I think. That's the plan. I've also got some really cool stuff planned as well with um, some, like, real-life interesting locations. One is a cave that exists near where I live. And once my new camera lens arrives, we're going to go check it out and I'll make a video about it. And hopefully you guys will enjoy it. It'll be good fun. But yeah, if you like the video... Oh my god! We st I literally just mentioned that the video almost had 1,000 likes. And now it has 1,200. Thanks guys, really appreciate that. You guys are awesome, man. Thanks for watching. I will see you in tomorrow's video. But uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate your support over the last... It's been like, what... Been doing YouTube, I think, since 2011 now. And I never thought I'd be able to do it as my full time job. But I can because of you guys. And I think it's great. So thanks, guys. I will see you in the next video tomorrow night, hopefully. Uh, same sort of time, probably about 7 or 8 p.m. GMT. So about midday for most of you in America. See you later, guys. Goodbye. Have a good night.